Hello Grade 9 students! and dito ulit sa Teacher V para i-guide ka sa pagsugot mo ng mga learning tasks sa inyong activity sheets or learner's packet. Ang lesson or topic ay tungkol sa 6 trigonometric ratios of special angles. Quarter 4, week 2 na tayo. So this is for Grade 9 students. And itutuloy lang natin yung assimilation and assessment part. Bago tayo mag-start, i-click mo muna yung like button. Tapos, huwag mo, mo kalimutan i-share to sa mga kaklase mo para matulungan mo rin sila sa math. And kung gusto mo pa ng ibang mga videos ko related sa learner's packet, lalagay sa ating description box or comment section yung link. And meron din akong playlist ng quarter 4 para sa grade 9, pwede mo rin yung tignan. Okay? Now, ready na? So, let's begin. Assimilation muna tayo. So, use the theorems of 30, 60, 90 right triangle to solve the unknown variables x and y and find the six trigonometric ratios. Yung x and y natin dito is itong mga legs na ating right triangle. So, makikita ninyo wala siyang measurement. Kailangan muna natin makuha yung measurement niya para makuha natin yung six trigonometric ratios. So, para makuha ang shorter leg ng 30, 60, 90 triangle, kailangan natin kunin yung kalahati ng ating hypotenuse, yung sukat niya. So, kalahati ng 8 is 4. So, that is our shorter leg. Para naman sa longer leg, ita times natin yung shorter leg sa square root of 3. So, ang shorter leg is 4. So, 4 times square root of 3, 4 square root of 3. Kompleto na yung sides na ating right triangle, kaya pwede na natin kunin ang 6 trigonometric ratios. Unahin natin ang sine. At sa sine, tandaan na yun ay opposite over hypotenuse. So, so ang opposite dito, since ito ang ating reference angle, yung 30 degree, ang opposite or katapat na side niya is yung 4. And then yung adjacent side or katabing side naman niya is 4 squared of 3. So, ito ang opposite, ito ang adjacent, and ito ang hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So, 4 over 8, and simplify, magiging 1 half siya. Para naman makuha ang cosecant, which is reciprocal nitong sign. So, cosecant, gawin natin, balik ta rin lang din natin, itong makuha natin value ng sign 30. So, 2 over 1 or simply 2. Next, yung cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, ito naman yung adjacent. And then, ito yung ating hypotenuse. So, 4 square root of 3 over 8. Then, simplify. Pwede natin itong parehong mag-divide sa 4. That's why we have square root of 3 over 2. Ang reciprocal ng cosine is second. So, balik ta rin natin to para makuha ang second. We have 2 over square root of 3. Then, multiply natin numerator and denominator sa square root of 3 para makancel ang radical sa ilalim. We have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Next, yung ating tangent. Tangent 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. So, 4 over 4 square root of 3. So, again, kailangan ma-remove yung radical sa denominator. Kaya, multiply natin siya or nag-rationalize tayo na ating denominator. So, i-multiply natin numerator and denominator sa square root of 3. So, we have 4 square root of 3 over 12. So, bakit to naging 12? 3 times 3 is 9. So, square root of 9 na to. Square root of 9 is 3. Then, yung 3, saka mo it times sa 4. Kaya, naging 12. Pero hindi pa ito yung answer. Kasi pwede mo pang masimplify to or i-divide yung 4 and yung 12 sa 4. So magiging square root of 3 over 3 na siya. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1 or hindi na natin sinusulat yung 1 here. Then 12 divided by 4 is 3. Para naman sa reciprocal ng tangent which is cot tangent. So balik ta rin lang natin itong nakuha natin sa tangent. So 3 over square root of 3. Multiply lang natin sa square root of 3. Numerator and denominator, we have 3. Square root of 3 over 3. And pwede natin makancel to or ma-divide yung 3 sa 3. So that is 1. Or we can say that the answer is square root of 3. So nakompleto at nasagutan na natin yung 6 trigonometric ratios na ating 
30 degree angle. Paano naman yung 60 degrees? So, tignan natin. So, let's say ito naman ang ating reference angle, yung 60 degrees, and nakuha na nga natin kanina yung measurement ng x and y, 4 and 4 squared of 3. Ang mangyayari lang naman dito is pagbabalik ta rin lang natin yung opposite and adjacent side. Kasi kanina sa 30, ito ang opposite. Dito naman sa 60, ang opposite is itong 4 squared of 3. And then yung 4, ito na yung magiging adjacent side kasi ito yung katabi niyang side. Ito yung katapat niya na side ng ating 60 degree angle. So, madali na lang din. So, magbalik na rin lang natin. So, sa sign, opposite, 4 squared of 3 over 8. Or, divide mo lang to pareho sa 4. Kaya, squared of 3 over 2. At, para sa cosecant, pagbalik na rin mo lang siya. Edi, 2 over squared of 3. Then, multiply mo lang sa squared of 3 para makancel yung radical sa denominator, we have 2 squared of 3 over 3. Sa cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, adjacent as 4 over hypotenuse. So, 4 over 8 or simply 1 half. And then, balik ta rin mo lang siya para sa second. 1 half is, uh, the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. So, it's simply 2 na lang. And sa tangent, 60, we have Opposite over adjacent. So, 4 squared of 3 over 4. Recipe, cancel mo na lang to. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, the answer is square root of 3. Para sa cotangent, balik ta rin lang natin yung... Or kunin natin yung reciprocal nito. So, tandaan may over 1 to. Kaya magiging 1 over square root of 3 yung reciprocal niya. And multiply lang natin sa square root of 3, numerators and uh, both numerator and denominator para ma-remove yung radical sa ilalim, we have square root of 3 over 3. So, nakompleto na rin natin yung 60 degree angle. So, tandaan nyo lang yung formula natin, yung sokatowa, tapos yung kanyang mga reciprocal na cosecant, second, and cotangent. And then, ito, yung ating adjacent and opposite side, wag, na wag kayong malilito. Kailangan maging maingat kayo doon. Alright? Okay, next. Punta na tayo sa 45, 45, 90. So, so question number 2 naman, given na yung legs, which is 5, ang aalamin na lang is yung hypotenuse. So, paano naging 5 square root of 2 to? So, ganito, tandaan natin na the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times each leg. So, kung ang leg natin is 5, times mo lang yun sa square root of 2 para makuha mo itong hypotenuse. So, 5 times square root of 2. So, 5 times square root of 2 is 5 square root of 2. Kaya, yung magiging hypotenuse natin dito is 5 square root of 2. At tandaan na pareho lang ang measurement ng legs natin sa 45, 45, 90. Okay? Kaya dalawa yan na 5 and 5. So, kunin na ngayon natin yung 6 trigonometric ratios niya. Ito madali lang, yung 45, 45, 90. Yung sa sign 45, we have opposite over hypotenuse. So, ang opposite ng ating 45 degree angle is 5. And then, yung hypotenuse, 5 square root of 2. So, 5 over 5 square root of 2. So, multiply lang natin sa square root of 2 para matanggal yung radical sa denominator. That's why we have 5 square root of 2 over 10. Pero pwede pang masimplify yung 10. Pwede natin itong i-divide. Pati yung 5, pwede mong i-divide pareho sa 5. Kaya, square root of 2 over 2 ang ating final answer. Para sa cosecant, balik na rin lang natin yung nakuha nating sagot na 2 na square root of 2 over 2 so magiging 2 over square root of 2 then multiply lang sa square root of 2 and we have 2 square root of 2 over 2 and cancel na lang natin kaya may iwan yung square root of 2 so yan yung cosecant 45 degrees next yung cosine so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse ibig sabihin pareho lang din 5 over 5 square root of 2 siya. So, pareho lang din ito dahil pareho lang naman silang 5. So, ibig sabihin kung ano yung sign, yun na rin yung cosine. And then dito, kung ano yung cosecant, yun na rin ang second. Okay, square root of 2. The next sa tangent, 45 opposite over adjacent. So, pareho lang naman sila. Kaya 5 over 5 or simply 1. And ang reciprocal ng 1 is also 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang cotangent is 1 then. Okay? 
So nakita niyo, madali lang kunin yung 45 degree angle. It says pareho yung sine and cosine, pareho yung cosecant and second, and then pareho yung tangent and cotangent. Alright, now punta na tayo sa assessment. Okay, ito yung table natin. Actually, ito lang yung titignan ninyo eh, kahit hindi na kayo mag-compute. Ayan yung measurement na ating 30 degree angle, 45 degree angle, and 60 degree angle. Ito yung trigonometric ratios nila. Okay, pero pinakita ko lang din sa inyo yung solution, syempre. Kailangan ni teacher yung may solution, di ba? Alright, so next, punta na tayo sa assessment. So, square root of 3 over 3 is it also equal to? So, ano ba ang may square root of 3 over 3 dyan? So, kita-kita nyo naman yung tangent and cotangent. So, pareho yan. Tangent 30 degrees and cotangent 60 degrees yung square root of 3 over 3. Next, number 2, which of the following have the same value as cotangent 45? So, ang cotangent 45 is itong 1. So, kapareho niya, first is yung tangent. Okay, tangent 45 degrees. Number 3, which of the following is the value of tangent 45? Okay, napakadali lang tandaan yung 45 degree angle. Yung tangent and cotangent niya, parehong 1. So, 1 yan. And, which of the following is the value of sine 60? So, tingin lang tayo sa table, sine 60. So, sine 60, we have square root of 3 over 2. And lastly, what is the sum of sine 30 degrees and cosine 60 degrees? So, ito pareho lang itong 1 half, diba? So, 30, sine 30 is 1 half and cosine 60 is 1 half. So, sum. Ibig sabihin ng sum, add. So, 1 half plus 1 half, kalahate, dagdagan ng kalahate, edi, Ang sagot ay 1. Okay? Ayan. So, natapos na natin yung week 2 ng ating grade 9 learners packet. So, I hope na nakatulong ang video ko para mas mapadali ang pag-aaral mo ng mathematics sa tandaan. Huwag na huwag na huwag tayong susuko sa math. Okay? Konting-konti na lang at matatapos na natin ang school year. Okay? And don't forget to follow me also on my Facebook page, V channel. And kung di ka pa nakaka-subscribe sa channel ko, pwede mo naman akong i-subscribe. Click mo lang yung subscribe button dyan sa baba. Pagkatapos, pindutin mo na rin yung bell para maging updated ka sa mga videos na i-upload ni Feature V. And wag na wag mong kalimutan i-share to sa iba. Okay? See you again on my next video. Bye-bye!